Hey basketball players, today I'm going to be giving you some different crossovers that you can use to de destroy your defenders and freeze them. So let's get down to it. The first move is the move that I personally use the most, especially on a fast break. So what we're going to do is dribble down the court. You can do this in the half court or you can do this on a fast break. And what we're going to do is it's very simple. You're going to dribble forward. If you have a defender on you or just ahead of you, what you want to do is to stop, go through your legs, and then step back for a shot. Or what I used to do on the fast break was to go through the legs and do a quick pass. Because what we're doing at that point is freezing that defender. If we're on a two-on-one situation and we're coming down court, I've got a player on that side. i got a defender between us. And I really don't want to go up for a contested layup or a contested dunk back when I could dunk. What I would do is to go through the legs. That would freeze the defender thinking I'm going to do something. And then I would pass it off underhand pass to my teammate. And he would go in for an uncontested layup or dunk. So to practice this move is very simple. Have your feet shoulder width apart, and all we're going to do is dribble on the ball, the ball on the right side, and we're going to dribble through the front of our leg like this. Very simple drill, but can get younger players to have some difficulties. But if you're looking to advance farther than your friends, this is definitely the drill and the move to help you. This next move is a move that I just recently broke down. It's a move that Trey Young and Luke Doncic and a lot of really good players use. And that is the reverse through the legs. So basically the move that we just did, but the reverse. So the reason why this move works so well is because you can be going downhill, you can be attacking your defender, and then you can go through your legs and come back. It's a nice freezing move to pull up a shot, but also, it's a nice move to pull off just to hesitate and to stop your defender to freeze him so you can drive by him. Now to practice this move, again, same idea as the last, but instead of going through the front, we're going to be going through the back. And you're going to try and do that as fast as you can. If you mess up, one dribble through, one dribble through. If you mess up, that's totally fine. But you want to go through as fast as you can. That's going to help you in game. Then you want to start moving while doing that move and believe me that's a, these two moves are game changers if you're looking to attack the rim this third move is the John Morant crossover or at least that's what I call it it's the actual jab cross so basically what you're doing here is let's say you're trying to attack the rim or you're just trying to get it past the defender and you're maybe getting pressured just a bit this is a great move so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be dribbling straight forward we're gonna jab towards in this case the right side we're gonna cross over the ball towards our left side and we're gonna continue towards that left side so to do this a bit quicker what we're gonna be doing is a quick jab cross and then you're out then you should be past your defender you can do this on the left side as well same thing jab left go right it's a great move to use it's a great move to utilize against a defender if they're trying to pressure you whether it be in the full court half court or on a fast break and of course to practice that last move is just literally practicing that move but going on to the fourth move is more of an Allen Iverson move I used to like doing this move when I was in college because it was just a lot of fun to do and I'm not a very flashy player but this can constitute to, as a flashy move. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be dribbling up towards our defender. We're gonna do an in and out crossover. So an in and out is like this. Basically you're dribbling, you're bringing the ball over and out. You don't wanna be having your hand go below half of the ball or else it's gonna be a carry. So the in and out is just like this, but we're gonna be adding on to that. We're not just gonna be doing an in and out. Because an in and out, you're basically faking to go that way and you're going back the other. But we need to really drop our defender. We need to get his ankles broken. We need to make him hesitate so we can pull up for a shot or drive towards the rim. And what we're going to do is to dribble up towards our defender. We're going to do that in and out, killer crossover, and then we're going to go. And you can make that as fast as you can. And to practice it, literally to practice the in and out, stand in one spot, 
and just go like this and try to get it as wide as you can. To practice the killer crossover, same idea, just try to get a wide crossover. Now we're gonna combine those two together. We're gonna do a killer in and out crossover. It's a fantastic move. And this is a great move to do in the half court, especially if you've got a little bit of room between you and your defender, you can make, really make them drop. Now this fifth move is a move that I did way back in high school. And this is the move that actually got a lot of coaches or college coaches looking at me. And from there, what we would do, or what I would do, is drive towards the rim, one to two dribbles against my defender. Once I did the one to two dribbles, I would pull back behind my back. He would stop because he wouldn't try to retreat back to stop my shot. And this is kind of a two factor move. So we would go and attack, I would pull back, and I could make that shot. Or if he's playing me tighter, I could go and attack, cross through the legs and then attack back. And then I would be able to drive towards the rim. And of course, this fifth move is the easiest move that you could possibly do out of the five that I showed today. And all it is really to practice is to dribble in one direction and to dribble behind your back but you want to add on, right? So you don't want to just go and do that in game. You don't want to just go take a couple of dribbles through, through and attack. You want to be low when you're doing this move. The lower your shoulders are, the faster you are when it comes to beating your defender. So you want to try and get really low. You want to go bang through the legs and then attack. It is a fantastic move. It's helped me score tons and tons of points at the rep and travel team level. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.